Uh, no. Stuff. My, my one remaining client was supposed to be meeting here at one o'clock for a check-in and um, I left my phone on silent and just wasn't here till two. So he's coming back at half five. <laughs> so so you think this might be the end of Rick's online coaching career? Maybe. Um, I've, I've been I will see you at the end one. of my online <laughs> One o'clock. <laughs> Do you like the stadiometer? Can you explain? Right. Explain so what? You know what? Okay, great. Yeah, so just make sure <laughs> well, we forgot the weighing scales and the stadiometer. It was a five mile, it was only a five mile journey to Argos. So I did the thing, click and collect, paid for it. It took me an hour to get back and forth from Argos. Uh, hit every red light. But at least we're here, and you know it's. But you know it's not the best. But it's still it's accurate. Not the worst either. It's still accurate. We can measure people. We can weigh them. There we go. No. Come with me, and we can walk and talk. And I will go and park Le Porsche out the way, and then we can greet. Yeah, yeah, noodle arms. Greek chapstick. Chapstick, noodle arms, whatever you want to call it. This lift is massive. I'm massive. Well, we just saw how much you weighed. How much did it say? It said 115, but that's bullshit. What, pounds? Oh, shit. <laughs> Have you ever heard <laughs> Show photographer number two. Oh, the, best, oh. the best photographer. The best photographer. Mm. I don't know, you've not taken any photos of me. Laz has taken lots of photos of me. Well, I have, but they're a bit X-rated, the ones I've taken of you. So. We don't talk about those. D uh, Matt, can you just be a little shorter, please? Thank you. A little shorter? Yeah, yeah, thank you. That, there you go, not that height. short. There you go. Like Laz height. <laughs> cool. So I could pull it out and then pull it back in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you you, you have no idea what he's talking about, do you? I'm pretty sure it's a... <laughs> I'm just, I'm more talking to myself than to people. <laughs> so am I just cataloging one man's mental breakdown? <laughs> what, Darren's? Yeah, no, true. Literally deconstructed. I came out of my hotel room, put on my clothes, and moved my car for you. Just after she looked disgusted at us. There's some scenes and stuff around. I'm a real man now. How is the house, Rich? Just pick it up. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. How have you found the expo being moved, but having the, still having the strong classic? Great. It's optimal. Was there a funny answer I was supposed to What was I supposed to say? No, I'm just, 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 you know. I'll consult photographer number two. Just, you know, like, have you found it caused any confusion? Oh, yeah, no, people are stupid. Um, on a personal level, I was genuinely quite worried about having to run the Strom stand, having to kind of help with the rage cage, because that's a Strom thing, um, and having to run the bodybuilding, or not run the bodybuilding show, I don't run fuck all, but having to be the guy on the stage at the bodybuilding show, and, and perhaps not giving all of those the, 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 all of those aspects, the attention they deserve. And actually, the expo being moved means that we can put on a really fucking good show tomorrow and then a really good expo in four weeks. So I was quite looking forward to the two being separated, so Darren decided to launch an extra show at the uh, expo. Yes, the, the expo, expo show. The expo show. <laughs> uh, you go lift through the one. door with the picture of the stairs on. Ooh, that lift. There you go. And you'll work out the rest, I promise. Climb. <laughs> <laughs> I am known as the master of public relations and customer service. Uh, I will insert several things Fact. that you've said from here today that today? disprove that. 
Yes. Just just today. Oh, yeah, no, people are stupid. The problem here is actually the consumer. Cold hard truth of the matter. Fuck the polar bears. Good, you're a fucking nonce. No, because this is a bit controversial. Bukaki probably had a rat pit on them at some point. No, she doesn't hate transgender people. <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't particularly want to share a bathroom with them. Oh, you hate gays. My nan's incredibly racist. She doesn't mean to be, it's just a generational thing. Boris, as we all know, is a turbo nonce. I don't know why anyone's shocked. Um, I don't think you've got enough scope with just today. Mm, I disagree. I am the consummate professional. Oh, I see what looks like pyjamas. That will be a competitor. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> so you wouldn't put an Alsatian into a poodle category. So just think about dogs. dogs. All protons from Hungary, you see? It? It's the only place you can get it. So it's come in and... Uh, The first one I was pissed. Right. Absolutely fucked, yeah. But I've really enjoyed it. Um, but tomorrow with it being a guest, it's the Strom show as well. It's, it's got a special meaning, so I need to make sure I'm especially drunk. Okay, <laughs> so you're going to be writing your speech now as you're having a few bruises. No. <laughs> Rick is well yeah. going to wing that. Um, yeah, why, are you, why are you dressed up? I, I thought I'd come as Indiana Jones. With, with CrossFit shoes, because CrossFit. Okay. Also, I forgot my slightly more formal shoes. Why am I just because it's a judge's meeting, and meeting to me says semi formal. Okay, I did not you get know, that standards. memo. You know, standards. I know I turned up in a suit for the first one, I was like, what are you doing? Yeah, no, it is just me, I think. Um, it's all right. Got standards, at least. The rest of us. You motherfuckers, which of my viewers hidden it? What? If I, if I knew what it was, I could tell you. Thank you. Um, it's a healthy number, but it's not what it's I need Coca Cola with it, David. No, you don't. Drink it. Right, okay. Come over here. I know, I just need a hat. What time is it? It is. Oh, person clock. Six o'clock. On Saturday, to... the 3rd of July. And what's about to happen? Uh, judges meeting. So one of the things we're really key on on FitEx is that all the judges are on the same page. There are lots of different standards for judging. Um, the criteria are, are quite clearly set out with FitEx. And every show, there'll be kind of things that will come up and we try and cover those points. And um, I think there's been a few changes over the last few shows about maybe not letting people enter just as many classes as they want, for example. So a bit of clarification over that. Um, any issues that might be arising, so on and so forth. Um, Lisa, Laz's mum, Lisa. It's just Lisa, man. But it's spelled Lisa. It's spelled like Leica, the camera company. Yeah, um, leads these. And then I think we're going to get some food. And okay. it's not entirely clear whether I'm invited or not, but. What, to food or the judges meeting? I'm definitely invited to food. Definitely feeling the rum now. Now. Would you just look at him? What a fucking thing! 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 Subshack Dan. You look small and still fat. How was the judges meeting? Yeah, it's really good. Are you excited for tomorrow? Um, I've drunk a bit of rum and now my face is really red. I was noticing your face was really red, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you're a cameraman, so you're gonna notice things like that. It's yeah, don't worry, I'll fix your skin tone. Okay, good, thank you, I'd appreciate that. Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah, it'll make Josh even paler. I know, that's, that's, I was a yeah. bit... It'll be like a ghost, it'll be see-through. Yeah. Which is fine if people think he's a ghost or an illusion, then that works better for me. Cool. Um, are you excited for tomorrow? I am. Yeah, no, I am. No caveat. That's it, that's all that's I've got it, for That's it, that's it, cool. Right, no, I good. feel like you pulled me out for something really important. No, I just said just an outro to the video. Man. God, I fucking hate him, hate him. Where's Joe gone?